How's it gaming guys? I'm Phil in the Blanks and welcome to another Kirby game. It's been a couple years since we've done a Kirby game. Um, the last major one we did was Kirby's Dream Land 2 for the Game Boy, uh, which I did right after James was born. So I figured it'd be fun to go back and there's, well, that's a spoiler I guess. There's a, what's his face? Dark Matter from Kirby's Dream Land 2. I guess he's back. Kirby's got a new friend. That's, that's Gooey. I think his name is Gooey. They're fishing, and all of a sudden, damn, like dark matter. Holy crap, calm down there, buddy. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's not cool. Um, yeah, so this is um, a follow-up to the Dreamland series, uh, and, and it's very much about, like, dark matter and, and that kind of timeline for Kirby. I've always kind of said how... how Kirby has, like, two timelines, like the Dreamland timeline, like the Superstar kind of Kirby's Adventure timeline. This is definitely a Dreamland game because this is Kirby's Dreamland 3. Yay! Which is um, a, a probably more forgotten Kirby game. I mean, it was, it was released for the Super Nintendo in 97. 97! That is so... No, no, don't go to the demo screen. Uh, that is so incredibly late for the Super Nintendo. Like, in Japan, the PlayStation was out for three years at this point. Like, jeez. So yeah, this was um, this is definitely the Kirby game that I think most people don't really remember. Um, it also, this is my opinion, I think it pales in comparison to Kirby Superstar. I don't think it's a bad game, but it's 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 almost like there were two teams working on Kirby games. That might be true, I actually don't know. But uh, this was very close to Kirby Dream Land 2 in, in its feel and uh, leads into Kirby 64. Anyways, enough of that, let's go in there. I don't think there's an, oh, there's this music for an option, so let's just start, I guess. Yay! I do like the the kind of cool look here with the the rotation. Uh, so this used a special chip. Uh, I think it was only for this game. So there's some scenes that use uh, higher resolution than the than the Super NES usually kind of does. Kind of like a fake high definition mode where it dithers together two pixels of a different color to make one pixel of a specific color. And that's kind of interesting. I do like that. Uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool looking, but it's very, very different looking. Like, I, I will applaud the game for having its own unique art style. This looks nothing like any other Kirby game. Uh, and I say it has more personality in its art style than Kirby 64 will end up having. Uh, that's that's the N64's problem, though. I mean, it was so early in, uh, in 3D graphics that it was hard to have a good style at that time. Uh, it just looked very introduction to 3D. Uh, but this, this, it looks just very different. Um, I, again, prefer the Kirby Superstar look, uh, which is much more like a, a drawn cartoon than kind of a crayon-y kind of thing. This is closer to Yoshi's Island, I guess. Uh, and we, of course, have our, um, our our animal buddies back. So we have Rick over here. Yeah, can I can just, yeah, you can just climb on them and climb off them anytime, which is very cool. Uh, and over there is our new one. That's Nago, the cat. I do like how, look at Nago, very cute. And then, oh, I can't believe you chose Rick over me. And she's super upset. Uh, and that's the same thing if you choose Nago over Rick. Aww. Um, so right now I've got Cutter. And uh, with Nago, now Cutter is completely different. Woo! So even though there's very few uh, powers in this game, like copy abilities, uh, it's again similar to Kirby Dreamland 2, where there's, there's a lot less uh, powers, but the combination with the animal friends means that there's actually quite a lot of uh, differences between all the different uh, animal buddies slash powers. So it's pretty cool. I love how Nago just rolls Kirby along. Definitely the cutest animation in this. Look at this! Nago's probably my favorite. Um, I mean, it's a big cat. It's super, super cute. Uh, we're going to try to see all the uh, combinations of powers and animal buddies in this game, because there are a lot of them, like I said. Uh, it's all the same powers from Kirby Dream Land 3 plus an extra one, which was only seen, I believe, in this game. So we have Cutter, uh, which is this one. Whee! Uh, Cutter... Sorry, I'm literally counting on my hands. Uh, Cutter, Parasol, Fire Ice, Spike... I think that's some of the old ones. I think I'm missing one. Uh, and there's a new one, which is um, Sweep or Broom or something. I don't even know what they call it in this. So now we got Parasol, which is kind of a cool little pogo stick. Let's leave Nagel for a second. It's just the usual Kirby with, uh, with a Parasol. Whee! So yeah, it definitely has a unique art style. I'll totally give it that. 
Um, it is, again, like I said, very, very similar to Cruise Dreamland 2. Instead of the rainbow drops from Turtle Dreamland 2, this game has, oh, what are they called? Star hearts? Or heart stars? Uh, and there's one in every single level. Every level has a unique little kind of uh, victory condition that you need to be able to do. Oh, let's get Spark. Very cute with Nago. He rubs Kirby in the static electricity. Wee -wee. It's really cute. Uh, but yeah, every level has like a victory condition that you need to do uh, by the end of the level, uh, and that will reward you with a heart star. For example, in this level, um, if you don't remember from the the world map, because I kind of just skipped it, uh, there's a picture of tulips. So in this level, it's don't step on the tulips. Every level kind of has a unique um, theme. Uh, level one, like the first level of a world, is about plants usually. The second one is about uh, having a specific ability or a character. The third one is a mini game. Uh, the fourth one is uh, usually it's like rescue a character or find a character. And um, five is bring a specific animal to the end. And six is collecting items or something like that. So you probably heard that bit like when we entered this uh, screen. And that means this screen holds that kind of victory condition. And it's don't step on the tulips. I'm stepping on the tulips because I'm a jerk. No, the reason for that is uh, we are going to get, obviously, all the all the heart stars, star hearts, what they're called, uh, because that leads to the best ending of the game and the last boss of the game. A lot of the Kirby games now definitely do that whole you need to do something specific to get the actual final boss, which is very cool. I like that. Um, but we also want to see the fake ending, too, which you can only get if you don't get all the heart stars. So we're just not going to do it for the first level. That way it's easy to go back and just do it. So we're just going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, and that's it. Yeah, end of the level. And you see he's so sad. You stepped on my friends. I'm like, yes, I don't give two shits. Goodbye. Obviously, we want to be nicer later on, though. <laughs> um, let's see for that one up. Ooh, oh, did I get it? Nice. Oh, that was really good. I'm usually bad at that one, because it's hard to kind of see where you're going to jump. But yeah, it's not a super long game. There's only five levels, six, uh, six levels in each world. They call this level one, Grassland. I've always called them worlds, though. Levels are individual levels, while worlds house the levels. Let's get this one. This is um, the dust ability or the sweep ability. I don't really know. Oops. With just Kirby, it's uh, it's literally just him sweeping. It's pretty awful. You can't move while this is happening. And, oh, you can do it in the air. That's pretty cool. With Nago, what is it with Nago? Ooh, there we go. A little surfboard. Isn't that great? Oh, that didn't work. That's, that's a really neat one. So let's use stone. And yeah, I know I'm going through all of them, really. But like as we get further in the game, we won't be pausing so much to see them all. Uh, stone is just the usual pump. Stone's the one I forgot. Yeah, so there we go. So there's, I think, eight abilities or something like that. Yeah, but Nego, <laughs> it's like a... Bah, 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 bah. I love that. It's really cute. Nego's got a lot of personality. I, I like I like her a lot. She's really, really adorable. Really cute. Uh, ooh, this fire. Jeez, we're getting a lot of them right now. That's good. Oh, that's a that's a weird one. It's a projectile, I guess, which is cool. Blah! <laughs> Kirby's mouth. And oops, I keep pressing select instead of X. Without it, it's just oh, it's fireball. So it's burning. And later in games, it's called that. Okay, cool. Ah, damn it. So this level, uh, we need to bring. I think it's Choo Choo. Yes, there we go. These are the other two new animal friends. Choo Choo, the octopus, I guess, who holds on to Kirby's head, and Kirby seems to like it. Ah. Uh... Oh, that's kind of a cool one, because he actually... There we go. How does this work? Oh, there we go. It's kind of like a weird parachute. And this is Pitch. Pitch is an interesting one. I like Pitch a lot, too. They, they thought of some really cool ones for the new animals. And uh, with fire... Woo! Throw them, and it kind of just follows you around. I like that a lot. That's really, really neat. But we need Choo Choo. So come on, Choo Choo. Let's go. I don't know why Kirby's like that. I don't know if it's like because he's getting a head massage, or she's a parasite. <laughs> And that's just, that's what's happening right there. I have no idea. It's a very weird one. But yeah, it doesn't matter what power we take. So let's check out Stone and Choo Choo. Oh, that's a cool one. Oh, that's a really cool one. Um, I do like, by the way, her inhale is literally grab and throw into Kirby's mouth. I love that. That's really funny. All right. All right, cool. Oh, there we go. Was this supposed to be in Choo Choo? No? Oh, okay, so no, with no power. And that just makes him feel better, I guess. I don't really know. I've written all this down, by the way, because I'd have a hard time figuring some of these out, to be honest. I've written down every level uh, and what we're supposed to bring. Let's keep going without a power. It doesn't really matter right now. 
cute. Oh, I can't eat you. Ooh, ooh, I don't like that. Very, um, very, uh, smart ball for the Super Nintendo. Another game I kind of want to play on the channel that I grew up with that I really like. Wee! I like this one. This is really cool. I'm assuming these are, f that means fire can break through these blocks. Um, each power can break a block, uh, a type of block, basically. I liked how in, um, Dreamland 2, like, fire could break ice, and, like, there were different, like, patterns for for what you could break with each power, and this one, it just straight up shows a picture of the power, which does make it a lot easier. That's needle up here. Let's grab needle. There you go. <laughs> Very much like an urchin. <laughs> Very cool. And with, uh, ooh, I didn't, like, just lose my power. Oh, cool, it's projectile. I like that. That's pretty cool. It's been a long time since I've played this game. Um, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Kirby Dream Land 3 is probably one of my least favorite Kirby games. That does not mean it's bad. And anyone who thinks that's what I'm trying to say is not listening. Uh, it just means it's not one I go back to a lot. It's one I didn't grow up with, so I don't have nostalgic ties. Um, and I think it's just a little slower. Uh, it's the same with Kirby, uh, Kirby 64. Uh, I did actually grow up with that one. And while it's very fun, it just, again, pales in comparison to what Superstar was trying to be. Oh, I got one hit left. I gotta be careful. Ah! Careful of the boars. I need a pep drink or something. Or just beat the level. There we go. Um, what could be Superstar was like that? Like, oh, there we go. So we can get the Heart Star. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Wee! Um, Kirby Superstar kind of redefined what Kirby could be for me. Um, because it was just that good. I really kind of want... Well, 1-Up's good, too. I, I wanted some life. Um, but yeah, Kirby Superstar redefined what Kirby could be. And it was amazing. It was magical. It was so, so good. So, basically, when, when these games came out, they were such a downgrade to me. Uh, in fact, I... I didn't really get back into Kirby uh, very much until uh, Return to Dreamland. No, no, sorry, not Return to Dreamland. Uh, damn, what was it called? It's the remake of Kirby's Adventure, Nightmare in Dreamland. There we go. That was the one that brought me back. I'm going to bring Spark with me. Uh, that one I loved, and it led into uh, Kirby the Amazing Mirror, which is my favorite Kirby game. So you can kind of see where I kind of go with which Kirby games I like. And we got Koo and Kine. Koo the Owl. Uh, let's grab you. And same powers before. Kind of. Not as good, though, because I can't move with it. Uh, and we also have Kine, who they really downgraded this one. He doesn't shoot a projectile, it explode. And that's such a shame. So I don't need Kine right now, unfortunately. I love Kine. I feel like he gets kind of a bad rap because it's a fish. But, yeah, I'm going to use Koo, man. Koo's faster. Koo can fly. That's what I'm going to do. Um, the stars are back from Dreamland 2. They also have the exact same graphics as Dreamland 2, which is really bad. Uh, but I get enough of them to get a one-up, I guess. Woo. It's, it's like stars, or stars, coins in Mario, but like, you don't get nearly as many as them, so it's not as fun to kind of collect them, like a bunch of them. I don't know. It's just me. Mind you, you only need, um, 30 of them, it looks like, so. So this level, world th or level three, each level three, requires you to break, uh, sorry, requires a uh, mini game to be beaten by the end of it. So this one, it's about, uh, geez, I don't know, Gordo's face is what I wrote down. Uh, so we'll see what that is. Oh, the backgrounds look really nice, actually. Maybe not the grass, it very much looks like a painting, I guess, and that's what they were going for. I can't remember did that. Um, but I do like the, the clouds, they look really good. Really good. Here we go. So you throw that. Okay, so that was with teeth. That was this one. And yeah, choose the Gordo that the face matches. It's probably gonna go faster. I like this guy's design. Reminds me of something from like Cave Story or something. Uh, shit, I didn't get a good look at that. Okay, good. Whew, it's gonna get tough. I think you get three in a row, or just three in general. Oh god, I think that was this one again. Okay, thank jeez, that was fast. These mini games might be really difficult for me. Well, goodbye. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, dead. Wow, that gave me like no time to react to that to go down. Well, that down. Now we go down. <laughs> oh, I tied again. <laughs> All right. Note to self: ignore the enemies. Just go down. Don't try to inhale anything. Wow. Only well, the third level. I'm having such a hard time with a Kirby game. Who would have thought that would be happening? Oh. Well. So yeah, because it's been such a long time since I've played this game, I don't remember a lot of it. Um, I like the bosses and stuff. Um, I'm always going to say I hope Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright are in this game. They're my favorite Kirby villains. Uh, I mean, obviously I like Meta Knight. I actually don't even know if Meta Knight's in this game, to be honest. I don't think he is. Uh, but I want I want Mr. Bright, Shine and Mr. Bright if I can't have Meta Knight. Ooh, jeez. 
The music is also from, well, I was gonna say it's from Kirby 64, but it's actually the opposite. Kirby 64 got its music from this game. Uh, so a lot of, like I said, a lot of people probably haven't played this game. And if you haven't, you might be like, wow, it really does have a Kirby 64 feel to it. Um, like I said, I think it's the same, um, the same team. It could might be the same team who do, do all of them and just want to try something different. I have no idea. Ooh, a star. Is that just one star? Is it a bunch? Oh, it's like three. Who cares? All right, so the fourth level is you have to find someone. And a lot of these are references to other games, usually HAL games. I don't know what it is in this. All I know is the character that we're going to try to find is named Goku. And it's not that Goku. As amazing as that would be. That would be really awesome. Uh, apparently, i got to take a lower path, so I wrote down. I don't shy away from telling you guys that I have, like, notes and stuff like that when I play these games for you guys. I try to do some research beforehand. When I started this channel, I certainly did not do that. Uh, I'm glad I do now because it makes it a lot easier to go through these games and figure things out. When I when I started doing Let's Plays, it, they were usually games I knew, like, inside and out. Get away from me. Like, let, like you know, Link to the Past, Mega Man X, Kirby Superstar. Um, then I started doing games that I didn't know all that well. Oh, I think this is where... Um, that, like, higher definition... Can I, it looks very weird. It might be because, again, I am playing this with an original cartridge, yes, but on the um, on the friggin' Retron, so this might just not look good. Um, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not so sure what it's supposed to look like. Ooh, what's wrong with you? Oh, yes, I knew that. Um, as, as cute as Nago is, um, the rock ability with um, Choo Choo's good. Oh, the swimming animation! That's really cute. Uh, let's go to the middle. Instead of cannons, they have these blue guys. Ooh, invincibility candy. They did that in um, Superstar as well. Or, sorry, 64 as well. Um, instead of using... Oh, you can kind of fly with uh, Choo Choo. But yeah, instead of um, cannons, they use uh, bubbles. Oh, you can actually hold on to one. Wow, there's so much I didn't know about this. This is very cool. I think this is going to be a fun playthrough. Oh, I needed... Um... Well, actually, I could just get rid of um, Choo Choo, actually. There we go. Uh... I think this is going to be a fun playthrough just because I've never played this and it be really fun. And I'm glad I did some research without going and playing the game again because this is a Kirby game. I don't really need to play to understand what's going on and how to do things I and mean, it's a Kirby game. But I'm glad I did some research on how to like get everything. Ooh, ooh mini boss. So they're back from uh, Kirby Joan 2. Damn. Oh, that was really easy. Um, actually, let's keep Rock. I like Rock a lot more than Fire with uh, Choo Choo. So uh, where's Goku? Goku's like a... Um, a caveman? Oh no, not a ca Okay, I'm thinking of something else. It's a monkey, it looks like. Well, I collected you. You're mine now. Oh, what was that? I didn't even see anything. Oh, I see them now. They're like right in the right in the ground there. Yeah, that um whew, that like water's really tripping me up. I don't know what it is about it. But whatever. So question of the day! Um Who's your favorite animal buddy? Now that there's six of them, and we've seen all six actually in this uh, in this play or this um, episode already, which is pretty nice. Who's your favorite? Out of the originals, I, I'd probably say Ku. I like them all to be honest. Um, but for Kirby Dreamland Three specifically, like when you when you have all of them, yeah, I'd, pr I'd probably say it's uh, Nago. Nago's really cute. Oh, okay, that's cool. I like how the, I like how this kind of works. The controls are also very different for a Kirby game. Like I said, they very super similar to 64. So I'm not used to this, but hey, this might as well be a new Kirby game to me because I've only played it once. And that was a long time ago. Now that I'm thinking about it. It's before I owned the cartridge. I can't just go through them. I'm not invincible with this. Um, I actually ended up getting this game. Uh, it's a, I wouldn't say a funny story or anything like that, but I got very lucky. Um, one of my old bosses, oh geez, look on me. One of my old bosses at the EB I used to work with, she was a very, very just wonderful person, very nice. Um, I liked the manager that I had at EB, as much as problems I had with the company. Um, I didn't mind my management. Uh, my bosses were good, even though I was also management, but the person directly above me. Um, so she, she was great. She had a bunch of old video games, and she wasn't like a collector like me, but she collected a little bit, I guess. Uh, and she had this game and Conquer's Bad Fur Day for... Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're like from an, a Nintendo game. Look at that. I like how they kept their old school, like, look to them. They don't look like they belong here at all. Uh, but yeah, she she had this game in, in Conquer's Bad Fur Day. And she was just trying to get rid of some games. And I said, like, I'll buy them. I'm, I'm the type of person where, like, if I'm buying a game from someone, I'll be honest about what they're worth. I'm not going to be like, whoa, that weird thing's out in the background. That's so weird. Um, I, I don't... Um, I, I'm not going to make a game more expensive 
uh, if I'm selling it, I'm not going to make try to bilk you out of your money if I'm buying something. Uh, she was just like, no, no, $50 firm for both. Um, don't give me any more. She just wanted to get rid of them. Uh, I'm like, $50 each? She's like, no, $50 for both. And these are both extremely expensive games. Uh, maybe not super expensive for Kirby's Dreamland 3, but freaking Conqueror was expensive. But yeah, so I got those two games for a dirt cheap price, even though I tried to not make it that cheap. But anyways, enough of my rambling story. We're not going to the next level because it is the end of this episode. And uh, hooray, we are playing Kirby Dreamland 3. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, tune in next time for more happy cuteness, fun, and apparently a fish. So <laughs> I'm Phil Blanks. I'll see you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.